Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a quiz using PowerPoint. I'm gonna show you how to build it based off of a quiz I've made here about key signatures, but you'll be able to apply this in any way you see fit. So just to begin, I'm gonna give you a quick demo of how this works. So what we have is a key signatures quiz home slide and this let's play button. When I click the let's play button, it brings you to a randomized key signature. And the task here is to guess the key signature. This is a minor key with four flats. So that is F minor, if you know your music. A few things I can do here. If I'm confident that I know the answer, I can just skip on to the next one. And again, a random one will come up. But if I'm not sure, so in this case, this is actually D minor. So if I click D minor here, I want to check if I'm correct, it'll go to a correct slide. And then if I hit next, I'll get a new key. And just to show you what happens when you get something wrong. So this is A minor. So I'll choose E minor just to show you. It says not quite try again. And if I click this button, it brings you back to the same slide and I can try again. And now I'll get A minor and get it correct this time. And I can move on. So on and so forth. If I feel confident here, this is B flat major. So I can just hit next, B flat again in a bass clef. And this is G major. I'm not sure. Let's just have a check. Yeah, G major, I'm right. And so on. And that's it. That's how it works. So I'm going to come out actually of this PowerPoint slide itself and just give you a little insight as to what's happening here. On this home slide, nothing happens other than I have this little text box that acts as a button. If I go into insert up here and I press action, what you'll see is it's running a macro. And I'm going to explain what macros are now in two seconds. So before I get on to what macros are and how to randomize the slides, the first thing I want to show you is the content. On each of these slides from slides 2 to 37, I've imported a graphic into each slide with the key signature that I want to test. So you'll see here as I go through the slides, it goes from no sharps or flats to a sharp, one sharp, two sharps, three sharps, and so on. So they're just in the order. And I've gone up to four sharps and flats because the cohort of students that I'm making this for only need that much in their exam. On each of these slides, I have a next button, and that's also running the macro. So when you click next, the macro is telling PowerPoint to jump to a random slide within the range of two, this is slide two here, to 37, I think, 37, yeah. So the macro is actually randomizing the slides once this next button is hit. In order to build in the functionality of having it show a correct or incorrect answer, I, on slide 38, I have not quite try again with this return button. And on slide 39, I have correct. And then again, a next button that does the macro thing of randomizing the slides. So that's the content piece. And then the last thing piece of the puzzle is I have this circle of fifths or nearly completed circle of fifths wheel. If I go over here to my selection pane, I can show you what is happening here. So rectangle four is my C major one. And if I go into the insert tab and press on action, you'll see that in this case, C major is the right answer. So I have it linking to the last slide because my last slide of the whole thing is the correct slide. All of the others in this instance here, so if I go to the F, which is the wrong answer for this particular key, then I go to my action and it goes to slide 38, which is the not quite try again. And then just lastly, on this one, I go to my action and the link, it, this will link to the last viewed slide. So no matter what I jump to randomly, this button will always go to the last slide viewed. So if you get it wrong, you can go back to the same slide and try your answer again. So that's how this particular quiz works. And if you want to own your own copy of this uh, PowerPoint with the macros and everything included, I have a link in the description below. You can download it for once off payment or you can um, sign up to my Patreon and you can get it there too. But if you want to make your own now from scratch and this isn't the idea you have for a quiz, the last part of this video is just going to be showing you how to set up the macros to randomize slides from whatever range of slides you want to do. So on a Mac computer, this is what you do. You come up to the view tab here and click on macros. And then this brings up a dialog box here. And just to say that if you are on a Windows computer, I'm linking a video to show you how to do it on a Windows computer. The functionality works the exact same. There's just a few differences in what you have to do. So what I do when I get this dialog box here is you see here, I've jumped to random key sig already in place here as a macro that's running in this PowerPoint. But just to show you how it might work from scratch, I'll put in jump to random key sig two. If I hit the plus button now, it brings up this program. This program is called Microsoft's VBA. And VBA is a programming language that Microsoft uses to insert code into its apps like Microsoft Excel 
and Microsoft PowerPoint. And it just allows you to add functionality to those programs. And I'm using it in this case to make a quiz in PowerPoint. So what you have to do here is insert code between the sub and n sub. I'm not somebody who knows how to code, but I do know how to copy and paste. And that's all you have to do here. So if you don't know coding language, it doesn't, you don't need to learn it here. You just need to be able to copy and paste. If I go over to my notes app, I have the code that we need to include here. So what I do is I copy it from first slide all the way down to here. I'll leave n sub and the sub name up top out of the copy range. Control or Command and C. And then here, all I need to do is Command and V, paste it in. And now my randomizing thing is in play. You'll see here that it says from slide, first slide that I want randomizes number two. And the last slide I want randomizes number 25. But for my actual purposes in this quiz, I need 37 to be selected. So from slide number two to 37 are going to be randomized. In the range of your, your own quiz, it might only be two to 10, or it might even be one to 10 based off of how many slides are involved and whether you have a home slide or not. It can be useful to have a home slide because that's what can kick off your game. Once you have that code input, you can X out of this. And then just to show you how it works then. So on my home slide here, I have the let's play button. If I select it, go to insert, go to the action. And then I can run macro. And now that I've set up my run, jump to random key sig number two, then this will also work. I just have to select it there. If you have no macros running in your PowerPoint and you haven't done the VBA code, then run macro will be grayed out for you. You won't have an option to even select it. But as soon as you do that and X out of your VBA uh, module, you'll be able to access the macros. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have found something useful in all of that. Everything is linked in the description box below. If you have found this useful, I'll have lots more content for music education and education more broadly in the coming weeks and months. So please do hit the like button and subscribe button. They help more than you know. And also the notification bell to be notified of my next video upload. This has been David Kennedy and I'll see you in the next one.